Welcome! I am Emir, and let us look back in hindsight. 8. The Lilo and Stitch universe has a soft spot in my heart. My sister and I followed Lilo and Stitch's adventures as they tried to find each of Stitch's 625, actually 624 cousins, and seek, as Lilo puts it, the one true place where they belong. I was especially psyched to watch the crossover episodes with Kim Possible, Jake Long, The Proud Family, and The Recess Gang of All People. But it all began with the 2002 movie, which I saw in theaters with my mom and my sister. The movie opens with this song. Let's talk about that, shall we? Oh, kala kawahe inoa, o kapua mae ole ikala. Kepua mai la ika mauna, ike kua hiwi o mauna kea, kea mai la iki la wea, balama lama iwa hine kapu, akaluna o wekahuna, ika pali kapu o kawea. Mark Kealii Hoomalu is credited as the writer of Hemele no Lilo, which translates to a song for Lilo. But most of the song's lyrics and even the tune is based on the traditional Hawaiian chant, Heinoa no Kalani Kalakawa Kulele, which translates to a name song for the chief Kalakawa. Ho'omalu performs the chant in his Po'okela chants album. This chant is a praise for King David Kalakawa, the second to the last monarch of the independent Kingdom of Hawaii. He is known as as the Merry Monarch and the annual Merry Monarch Festival is dedicated to his memory. The festival's website reads, For many decades, under Christian missionary teachings, Hawaiian beliefs and traditions were suppressed. Kalakawa did not support these teachings, and instead, he and his queen, Kapiolani, lived by the motto, Increase the Nation. He advocated for a renewed sense of pride in all things Hawaiian such as the arts, medicine, music, and hula. Emele no Lilo adds an introductory verse and a bridge, praising King Kalakawa's sister and successor, Queen Liliuokalani, the last monarch of the independent kingdom of Hawaii. Her life story and that of the kingdom is a tragedy, reflected by the song she wrote, Aloha Oi, which in the Lilo and Stitch movie, Nani sings to Lilo in what they thought would be their last night together. The Kamehameha School's Kapalama Campus provides a translation of the song Hemele no Lilo, which I will link to below. I would be glad if any Hawaiian or anyone well-versed in Hawaiian history would provide me with resources, good reads, or good videos on King Kalakawa, Queen Liliuokalani, and on the history of Hawaii. I don't speak Hawaiian nor am I Hawaiian, nor of Hawaiian descent. So, why do I like Hemele no Lido? First, listening to it puts me on a good mood. The beat is catchy, and it's hard not to sway whenever it plays. But more importantly, I like Hemele no Lido because it brings me to a different place without having to leave the comfort of my home and without spending anything. This song is used to open the Lilo and Stitch movie, establishing to the viewer the Hawaiian setting, the ocean, the small town, the hula, and even the tourists. Hemele no Lilo got me interested and introduced me to a culture that is both different yet familiar from my own. Hawaii and the Philippines share a similar geography and history, the Hawaiian language, and the Philippine languages are part of the Austronesian language family. 7. The next one is from a DCOM, and since I grew up in the 2000s, I did not escape the cultural behemoth that is high school musical. Here's an HSM song. I know that something has changed, never felt this way. I know it for real, this could be the start of something new. 
It feels so right to be here with you, oh. And now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart the star of something new. Fun fact, I performed this song at the end of an internship a few years ago. And I was sad that the office band did not know this song. I bet even video game machines do not have start of something new. Which is sad because Troy and Gabriela sing this song out of a karaoke machine at a New Year's Eve party which opens the movie. Get it? Start of something new? Beginning of the movie? Sounds a bit obvious, don't you think? Also, how did Troy and Gabriela fall for each other? Simply by being forced to sing this song together. Remember, this is the first time that they meet. Disney magic, I guess. I haven't broken free yet, so breaking free does not resonate too much with me. But I'm getting there. What matters is I've begun. Just like the title of the song, Start of Something New, I've started something, something's new. I'm working not only on this channel, which is a huge leap for me, but I'm also writing journal articles and a fictional story. I'm also growing towards being more comfortable, speaking with friends, and being a good friend in return. Add to that my continuing openness and ease with which I discuss not only my thoughts, but also my feelings for certain media, which you can watch on this channel. This may be a love song, but I can divorce it from that context. Start of something new gives me confidence in charting these unexplored waters. I don't have someone by my side just as Troy and Gabriela had each other. But I know that some things have changed. I am stepping out of my comfort zone and am willing to deal with the world. I hope that these changes will be for the better. 6. I said earlier that Phil Collins could not make me feel anything. Brother Bear 2 also has a good soundtrack. The songs here bring a wide array of emotions for me, something that Phil Collins will never be able to do. I was talking about Brother Bear, but the same applies for Tarzan. Sideways made a good video about the problem with Tarzan, where he suggests that the disembodied vocals singing for the characters make the narrative less compelling and less powerful. I'm a Phil Collins singing in the background. But in fairness to Sideways, I disagree with him on one song. This tune, even with Phil Collins' voice, makes me sad. Cause you'll be in my heart. Yes, you'll be in my heart. From this day on, now and forevermore. You'll be in my heart, no matter what they say. You'll be in my heart, always. Kala, Tarzan's adoptive mother, starts singing You'll Be In My Heart as a lullaby for the baby Tarzan before Phil Collins takes over. This song packs a punch on its own, divorced from the context of the movie. Songs offer a refuge against a hostile world. Either they paint an ideal alternative, a yearning for something greater, like the classic Disney I Want song. You have your part of your world, go the distance, or you have your out there, how far I'll go? When will my life begin? You even have your reflection. Those I want songs are common among Disney films. Or songs as refuge can assuage our tired and hurt souls. Now, I think of myself as someone who is willing to go the distance, to measure how far I'm willing to go, to run the extra mile, to do something different. But sometimes I just want someone or something to comfort me. You see, I just finished my law degree and just took the bar exams. 
I think I did all right and I will pass. But nothing in life is certain and I can fail. More importantly, what I'm doing now is a huge departure from what I have been trained to do. I have taken a gigantic leap of faith. True, I love what I do, free from the stresses of a legal career, where work-life balance is unfortunately sometimes treated as a joke. If I had chosen to go straight to a law firm immediately after taking the bar, I would have said goodbye to this last opportunity to review media on YouTube. I made a difficult decision, and up to now, I doubt whether I did the right thing. What could have been leaves me scared and sad. Good pay, mentorship, and honing my legal skills. In contrast, I'm not earning anything yet from these videos. Which is fine, which is fine. If the views and engagements keep me going, but the numbers are disappointing. And since I don't want to bother anyone with these unrelatable problems, I listen to songs instead. And Phil Collins in You'll Be In My Heart tells me that everything will be fine. Someone will be there for you and for me. I hope that you, my viewers and subscribers, will always be here to watch my videos, to share them, to subscribe, to comment, and to support me on Patreon. In turn, I promise you that you will not be shortchanged. I will do better and grow and improve. I will ensure that you will have a pleasant viewing experience and that you will keep coming back. I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos recently in order to find out and to develop my style and my depth of analysis. Before I say goodbye, here are some honorable mentions. I'm wishing, I'm wishing for the one I love to find me, to find me today, today. Hi ho, hi ho, it's home from work we go. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. I know you, I've walked with you once upon a dream. I know you, that look in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free, wish I could be. Part of your world Under the sea Under the sea Darling, it's better Down where it's wetter Take it from me Certain as the sun Rising in the east Tale of soul as time Song of soul as rhyme Beauty and the beast Tell us all the time Song us all the rhyme Beauty and the beast Arabian nights Like Arabian days more often than not, are hotter than hot in a lot of good ways. Arabian nights, like Arabian dreams. This mystical land of magic and sand is not what it seems. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no passing craze. It means no worries. For the rest of your days, it's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Wow, that was tiring. See you next Monday. Until then, tata for now.